Charlotte, welcome. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm always looking for quick and nutrient dense lunch options to store in my kids' lunch boxes that beat the typical, you know, like ham and cheese sandwich. So it's always an added bonus when those same products can be incorporated into our everyday routine too, and will give us the energy and nutrients that we need to tackle the day. So today we will be showcasing two simple yet delicious lunch options for the whole family featuring Wild Planet's Skipjack Tuna and the Wild Sardines. So whether you're preparing these meals for school or for yourself or for your partner, they're bound to become an afternoon or evening staple. We will then dive more into Wild Planet's commitment to sustainability and then also the natural health benefits from canned fish products. So if you're new here, uh, my name is Chrissy. I am your chief mom ambassador, and I am joined by Becca, who's one of our project managers. Hi, Becca. Hello. And uh, Melissa, our social media manager. Hey, everyone. Hi, everybody. I'm really excited to learn more about these simple yet tasty meals. Um, I could see these recipes becoming a go-to carpool snack for all of my fellow moms out there. Hi, everyone. I can't wait to show you these recipes and dive more into Wild Planet's passion for saving the world's oceans. All right. So before we jump in, um, as always, so happy to share some more information about who we are. And so uh, Moms Meet is a community of moms, caregivers, so parents, grandparents, um, really invested in um, better for you products and living a healthy lifestyle with their children. So it's free to join. Um, you can go to momsmeet.com to become a mom ambassador and have the opportunity to sample free products. Um, so we're really excited that um, Wow Planet is is putting on this event today. Yeah. So thank you everybody for being here. This event is brought to you by Wild Planet. Wild Planet Foods is committed to providing the finest sustainably caught seafood while supporting the conservation of wild marine ecosystems. Um, they care for both the health of our oceans and their consumers. So you'll find a full spectrum of nutrition inside every Wild Planet can, including rich proteins, healthy EPA and DHA omega-3s that you and your family can feel good about eating. Okay, so I know everybody always is so excited for this part. Um, we have some prizes that we're doing. So we're happy to announce that Wild Planet is giving away some really great prizes today. So three lucky winners are going to receive four packs of their Skipjack Tuna, one can of the boneless, skinless sardines in water, and then one can of the boneless, skinless sardines in extra virgin olive oil, and also a lunch tote. So comment below. Let us know your favorite recipes with tuna or sardine products. Um, personally, I love a good Greek salad, and I'm looking forward to sharing our recipe for the Greek salad using the Wild Planet sardines in just a few minutes. Yeah. So, um, but before we jump into, you know, Wild Planet's mission and sustainability, which I'm really excited to share with all of you, um, we have Melissa who is in the studio. She's ready to show you two lunches that will become a staple in your household. So take it away, Melissa. Thanks, Chrissy. So yes, today I'm going to be sharing our recipes for a Greek salad with Wild Planet's extra virgin olive oil, whole sardines, and tunas and hummus, pan pan excuse me, pinwheels with their skipjack tuna. So let's first start out with the tuna and hummus pinwheels. I think this is a perfect lunch for your little ones and it can easily fit in a lunchbox or a to-go container. So for the pinwheels, you'll need a five ounce can of the skipjack wild tuna undrained, three tablespoons of hummus, a squeeze of fresh lemon juice, a medium flour tortilla, half cup of shredded carrot, half a cucumber cut into sticks and lettuce leaves. So once you have your ingredients assembled, you'll want to place the tuna into its natural juices in a bowl. And fun fact, Wild Planet only cooks their tuna once. So there's no added broth or water. These natural juices are straight from the fish with no additives and tons of nutrients. Then you'll want to flake the tuna with a fork and incorporate those natural juices back. Then you'll sort everything together into a hummus and lemon mixture and place it on a tortilla on a work surface and spread that tuna and hummus mixture evenly over the entire tortilla. Then you'll top it with shredded carrots, cucumber, lettuce. It's a totally customizable recipe, so you can add whatever veggies that you like or your family prefers. Um, personally, I really love carrots and cucumbers. I love a little crunch. So after you've assembled all of your ingredients, you can roll up the tortilla and slice it into adorable pinwheel shapes. And here is my final product. So cute. Ooh, they look oh so yummy. They look I delicious. Love, 
Yeah, I love the um, the facts about th that you're not supposed to drain the tuna because I know ever since I was a kid eating tuna, like that's the first thing I do. So I love that they only cook it once. So there's not, you know, additives or anything like that. Yeah, those are super cute too. I, I love the little pinwheel shapes. They're adorable. My girls would love those actually, something I could probably get them to eat. Yeah, it's really, I love it too, because it's so hard. The lunch scene, like packing lunches every day is so, it's such a struggle. Um, sometimes I'll pack food and then my kids don't even eat it. They just buy lunch that day. So if I can, if I can come up with great versatile lunch options, that is a win. Um, and it's a great recipe too, with the little pinwheels. That's super fun for kids, easy to put in the lunchbox. Um, so I want to see what else you have for us today. Yeah, absolutely. So for the moms who need a quick, healthy bite, or maybe have some older kids, I have a great Greek salad recipe with the whole sardines and extra virgin olive oil to show you. And I'm definitely on back with this one. I love a Greek salad and this mm -hmm. recipe is uber simple. So here's what you'll need to make our Greek salad with the Wild Planet whole sardines. Of course, you'll need one can of the whole sardines and extra virgin olive oil. You'll need three tomatoes chopped into bite-sized pieces. Um, one half of a cucumber, also chopped into small pieces, one fourth cup of thinly sliced onion. You'll need pitted Kalamata olives, crumbled feta cheese, olive oil, red wine vinegar, and some oregano. You can also add some fresh ground black pepper to taste. Um, and then you'll want to mix all of this together, the tomatoes, cucumber, onion, etc. And you can just add the Wild Planet whole sardines right in there and just toss before serving. And here is what it looks like. Oh, mm. that, looks that looks really, really good. Oh, so good. Um, so good. It's, it's really funny because it's a running joke at Mom's Meat that literally anytime we order lunch together, <laughs> everyone gets a Greek salad. So <laughs> I love that. And, and it's perfect, too, because like I know my kids would pick at it, too, and they would love it because it's like different fresh ingredients. Um, do we have the recipes on our website anywhere for people to check out? Yes, we do. So both recipes will be on momsmeat.com slash recipes, and we will plug that later for everyone to enjoy. Um, but I really think that everyone will enjoy these for a lunchtime um, treat because no matter what time of the year, I love a fresh salad. I love a wrap. Mm -hmm. So I think these are two great staples for everyone's household. I'm excited about these. They're also like super easy to prepare, especially mm -hmm. if you are one of those people that's on top of it and you like prep your veggies beforehand. So all you'll have to do yeah. is really just like compile everything together. Um, and I think that the sardines look like the perfect match for this recipe. So do they add any extra crunch or texture to the salad, Melissa? So they actually don't, um, which is something that I love about Wild Planet's whole mm. sardines. It's that their bones are completely soft, um, which you'll be able to see with an image here on our screen for the moms at home. So they don't change the texture of your meal in any way. And they're very easy for consumption with tasty flavor. Yeah, they are really good. And actually, um, I have bought them a couple of times and my five-year-old daughter is obsessed with, she was like, housing them. I was like, are you, can maybe you need to slow down a little, but they're a really great source of protein too. So we love sardines in our house. Um, and it's a good way to incorporate it into a meal too. And not just like if you, you can eat them straight, but it's a good way to incorporate them into a recipe. Wait, I am so shocked that your daughter eats these. That's Me awesome. Too. Like amazing. <laughs> really is. I know. Um, I'm like new to the whole canned fish space that used to kind uh -huh. of like, I was a little nervous about it, but, um, since we've started working with wild planet too, I'm much more intrigued. But it's nice to know that like any classic recipe we can elevate with some of Wild Planet's products. So yeah. I actually might have to go pick these up because <laughs> it looks really good. Definitely. Yeah. Well, now all I want is a Greek salad. So thanks for that, <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> Well, thanks for the recipe demo. That was super helpful and and really, um, like Becca said, super easy options. Like I know personally, I'm a quick grab and go kind of person. So those pinwheels are speaking to my to my heart a little bit. So I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to make those. <laughs> um, okay. So before we try what we have today, um, I want to talk about the environmental and nutritional benefits of Wild Planet products because there's so many. So this is a fun fact that I had no idea. Um, did you guys know that our oceans are a key indicator of the state of our planet's health, which is like really crazy? 
That is, that is, that's like unbelievable to me. Um, and yeah. I know that Wild Planet cares so much about protecting our world's oceans. And I learned that their founder, Bill Carvalho, um, he happened upon an exhibit at the Monterey Bay Aquarium that told the story about how um, our oceans are having reaching, they're like reaching their breaking point. And he set out to change the course of his original seafood business. And that was kind of where like Wild Planet stemmed from. So he created them out of the reverence for the ocean. So he opted to use the highest sustainable fishing methods, even though it wasn't the easiest or the least expensive. Um, but he did that in order to help protect the vital resources of our oceans um, and everything that they have to offer to eliminate to eliminate the bycatch, excuse me. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I love to hear mm -hmm. that. And I think it's so important for moms and truly all people to really understand the impact of unsustainable fishing methods on our environment. And I love that Wild Planet promises to not catch seafood that is in the red or a bad alternative to sourcing practices, um, which I think is so world changing. Yeah, I think you hit it right on the head with, especially for moms, like I know I want to leave this planet better than, you know, how <laughs> when I was here and it is scary hearing Bill's story. It is scary to know that, you know, it's in the future, like it's just, it's crazy if we continue the way that we're going. So I love that he, you know, started something new. And I think um, a lot of moms may not know that eating lower on the food chain is actually a way to contribute to lower CO2 emissions um, as well. So that's super important. Um, and then smaller wild seafoods like small pelagic fish, which I had no idea. Guys, I had to like look up how to say that word because <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but it's actually anchovies and sardines. So look at that. You learned something new today, just like me. <laughs> um, anchovies and sardines are small pelagic fish. They are actually the most sustainable animal proteins. And it's great because, because like I mentioned before, they're high in protein too. Yeah, I saw a fact that sardines are actually a great way to eat lower on the food chain. And I thought that was like, I don't know, just a fun fact to hear. Mm -hmm. um, and they're more plentiful in the ocean and they're just as tasty. So we're kind of like we're doing good all the way around. Yeah, um, they're also a nutrient powerhouse, which is something that I look for when I'm cooking for my family. And I want to give my family foods that are nutrient dense and have good fatty acids, iron, omega threes, etc. cetera. Um, I have two growing girls and I want them to be strong and healthy, obviously. So mm -hmm. not to mention they're budget friendly. It's not an expensive thing to pick up at the store and they're full of protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. I love that they're so budget friendly. I feel like it makes it very accessible for all families to enjoy. And I actually didn't know before this event that sardines were so nutritious. I didn't really eat them too much growing up. Um, but I have been a huge fan of canned tuna for years, and I was really pleased to find out that Wild Planet's tuna is 100% sustainably full and lime caught. Um, and they also skip out on all of the additives. So your tuna is fresh and it doesn't need to be drained. You can just enjoy from the can, which is awesome. Yeah. And I mentioned that earlier that the non-draining really like threw me through a loop. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't need to drain this. Mm -hmm. And it adds, it like keeps the flavor, it keeps it fresh. Um, and also you guys, the pull in line caught concept is so cool. It's so fascinating to me. So did you guys know that the older the fish, I mean, this makes sense, but I never really thought about it. The <laughs> older the fish, the higher the mercury count. So I know like Pregnant moms or moms with kids can be afraid to introduce their kids to seafood because of those mercury levels. But the cool thing is with Wild Planet's 100% pull in line caught methods, um, they actually are harvesting their albacore tuna. They catch migratory tuna that are younger and it yields six times lower the mercury, mercury levels than the FDA action. So by doing that method, it's not only more sustainable, but it's better in terms of the mercury levels that you're consuming. Mm -hmm. So um, also skipjack tuna, which we're going to try today, is also naturally lower in mercury um, than any other tuna species. So it's fun fact Thursday <laughs> today, you guys. That's a cool, I didn't know that about skipjack. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I was definitely one of those moms. You hear all these scary stories about mercury poisoning mm -hmm. and you think, oh, that's not going to happen in my family. Um, so it's super calming to know that Wild Planet is aware of this and they're very cognizant of it. They make sure that their tuna products are safe for your family to eat. Mm -hmm. um, their skipjack tuna has some of the lowest mercury levels in the entire tuna population. So there's another yeah. Thursday fun fact. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, it makes me feel better too. My daughter is obsessed with tuna fish. Like she's that girl. I pack it in her lunch all the time. <laughs> that girl that brings tuna is cool. She's not old enough to care. <laughs> yeah. You know, but, um, I say to her, I'm like, I, you can't eat it every day. Like it has to be like an every other day or like a treat thing because I'm worried about that mercury. So mm -hmm. I didn't know, again, I didn't know about the skipjack tuna fact. So I'll most likely buy that species instead of regular tuna moving forward yeah. or, um, yeah, or the uh, uh, albacore. So I love to learn more about Wild Planet and their fantastic canned uh, seafood products. But before we go, we're all going to try the Skipjack uh, Wild Tuna. I think I have it with crackers. Becca, what do you do you have it with crackers? Yes, I do. I have some tuna salad prepped here. Okay. How about Melissa? Do you have it with you? I do. I have it on a cracker. So I'm really okay. excited to try. Okay, so I just made this with some mayo. I just made like tuna salad. Um, and likely my daughter will steal it when she gets home from school. <laughs> um, but yes, I have it with a cracker here. So we're going to try it really quick. Taste it. This is the okay. first time I've actually had their skipjack, believe it or not. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's it tastes really just good. like the albacore. I wouldn't know that I wasn't yeah. eating albacore. And, you know, like we said, it's lower in mercury levels. So it's a win-win. I fully agree. And I've had my fair share of tuna products, but I honestly feel like this tastes the cake. It was absolutely delicious. Yeah. So I'll be honest. I'm not like a huge tuna person. And I was like, okay, we're going to try it. We're going to give it a whirl. It <laughs> tastes so fresh. Like, I love other seafoods. And this was, like, fresh. It didn't, mm -hmm. like, make me nervous in any sense. So mm -hmm. I think I've found, like, a new easy lunch go-to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I may or may not finish this whole bowl when we're done. <laughs> today, so <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys, everybody, for joining us today. And a special thank you to Wild Planet for providing us with important information about their sustainable and delicious canned fish products. I can't wait to try out that Greek salad. Um, and I'm going to try out those pinwheels as well. So head over to momsmeat.com slash recipes to recreate these lunch options at home with us. You can find Wild Planet at Walmart, Target, Costco, Safeway, Albertsons, Kroger, Sprouts, Whole Foods, and Publix. Yep. So lots of opportunities to find it in your store where you shop. Remember to keep liking, sharing, and commenting for your chance to win. Um, we will announce the winners next week. So we wish everyone the best of luck. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Bye. Everyone. Bye.